Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today I would like to say I have not had a dream. And what that usually means is that is usually a code for I saw a leak. I haven't seen a leak. I don't know when Sunday is going to come out, but I'm very excited for him to. Now, if you really feel like you need adventuring or you really want adventuring, that's cool. If you are missing a sustained character, you need a second sustain character, or maybe you're just not satisfied with your old sustain characters anymore. Maybe you have like Bayou as one of your two sustains that you use for like the MOC, or maybe you have a four star like Gallagher, and you're like, oh my god, I really need adventuring to have a really powerful second sustain. Maybe you are brand new to the game, adventuring is your first sustain unit outside of them, and you're looking for another one. Now, I believe that the next sustain unit that is going to come to the game is Sunday. And I believe that because we've spent so much time with him before he comes out, especially considering we, we saw him in the very start of Pentacony, he's very important to the story, and we're going to be interacting. We have interacted with him a decent amount, and we're probably going to be interacting with him a lot more as the story progresses. He is going to be a very important character in this overarching story of Pentacony, and I believe it's only a matter of time before we get him, and for that reason, um, for, the, for those reasons that I just said, I believe he will actually be probably the strongest abundance character in the game whenever he comes out. I don't think that that is a hard thing to get to. Like, Luocha is good. Luocha's already been power crept by Huo Huo. Huo Huo is overall considered a lot better than Luocha because you need Luocha's Eidolon to get um, his like damage boost. Pretty much every sustained character in the game right now has some kind of ability. Uh, some kind of way to buff your team in a harmony type way or even a venturing kind of in a nihility type way where he does a debuff to the enemy team that increases your damage um i believe that sunday will be no different or if he does not have the ability to buff your team's damage you will at least if that's not the case then definitely his heals are going to be far and away the strongest in the game to make up for it they're not going to release a character that is just straight up worse than all the other characters before. I don't think it's hard. There's not a lot of sustained characters in the... Uh, there's not a lot of abundance characters in the game is what I mean. Uh, especially for five stars. There's only Huo Huo, Luocha, and Bayou. Bayou is basically completely irrelevant as the second worst healer in the game. The only one worse is Natasha. Um, and that's even arguable. That's even been arguable since the game came out where Natasha has the cleanse and Bayou doesn't. But let's not get on that tangent. I believe... That if you are looking for a sustained character, and maybe preservation isn't your jam, maybe you don't have enough pools, you're not going to be able to make it to get adventuring, I suggest, uh, you know, just, just wait, just bide your time, Sunday is coming, and I believe he will be the strongest abundance character, maybe even strongest preservation character, not preservation, strongest uh, sustained character in the game. As for preservation characters, they're very comfy because they have their shields. And if if you have a very, very well-built one that doesn't get CC'd, which eventually is really good at not getting CC'd, uh, your team is basically invincible. So I think that it's only a matter of time before the two best sustained characters in the game are Aventuring one team and Sunday on the other. But also, if you don't if you don't like the way that, you know, if you don't have follow-up attack characters, if you don't have a lot of them, if you didn't pull for Topaz, if you don't have uh, Jing Yuan or Himiko or Clara or you don't use her or whatever whatever for those reasons right? you don't have uh, you don't use your doctor ratio and adventuring with its follow-up mechanics and whatnot is just not really your style Sunday is coming so if you agree that Sunday will be hopefully probably in 4.4 if you really want to see him in 4.4 like I do and if you believe that he's going to be the best abundance character in the game because of how much I assume they are going to, you know, we are going to interact with him and play through him in the story way more than Huo Huo. Uh, Huo Huo really did feel like a side character. I mean, she had a whole event around her, but if you if you didn't really care about the event, I mean, that's like a whole side thing. Um, I believe Sunday is going to be really powerful. If you agree and you hope that he comes in 2.4 like I do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. We're going to be talking about him, obviously, when he is drip marketed. Inevitably, he's going to be drip marketed this next patch. <laughs> of course. Um, I just know these things. I don't. Um, but, yeah. Subscribe. Uh, comment. What you want to see out of Sunday when he releases. And peace.